In this tutorial, we are going to evaluate the integral of x y squared dx plus x squared y plus 2x dy along the curve C, where C is the curve which is appearing on the screen there. It's a curve which is from the point 00 to 720, passing through the point 420. So usually when you are given a line integrals of this form, it is uh, convenient to split uh, that uh, curve into two parts and we'll call the parts uh, C1 and uh, C2. So for the part C1, I'll call that one between 00 and 420, and uh, the part between 420 and uh, 720, I'll call it uh, C2. So when we have uh, split the curve into those two parts, the integral along the line C, x, y squared dx plus x squared y plus 2x dy is equals to the integral of uh, x, y squared dx plus x squared y plus 2x dy along the curve C1 plus the integral of uh, x, y squared dx plus x squared y plus 2x dy along the curve uh, C2. So now that we have uh, split the curve into two parts C1 and C2, let us now go in and uh, look at uh, the integral along the curve uh, C1. What we see there along C1, both x and y are varying. But what you see there is uh, that C1 is just a straight line which is passing through the origin. And we know that uh, the equation of a straight line is y is equals to mx plus uh, c, where c is a constant. But since this one is passing through the origin, that c will be zero. So we can use those coordinates 420 there to obtain the value of uh, the m in the equation of a straight line y is equal to mx plus c. So whatever uh, quant there is equal to 4m, then our m, the gradient of that line, will be equal to a 5, because it will be 20 divided by 4. So what we are having there is uh, along c1, y is equal to 5x. And if y is equal to 5x, we can differentiate that, and we get the derivative of y with respect to x is equal to 5 which would then mean that uh, dy is equal to 5 dx. So now that we have y is equal to 5x and dy is equal to 5 dx, we also see that uh, along that c1, since we are now putting everything in terms of x, our limits will now be in terms of uh, the x, and uh, we see that x is varying from 0 to 4. So our limits of integration will be from 0 to 4, because we are saying x is varying from 0 to 4. So the integral of x y squared dx plus x squared y plus 2x dy along the curve C1 will become the integral from 0 to 4 of x times 25 x squared dx plus x squared times 5x plus 2x times 5 dx. What I've done here, I've substituted wherever we were having the y, I put a 5x. And where we were having dy, I put a 5 and dx. So where we had uh, y squared there, 5x squared gives us a 25x squared. So that's why I'm having x times 25x squared there. And uh, when we simplify that, uh, we get uh, x times uh, 25x squared, it gives us a 25x cubed. But on the other part there, we would have uh, x squared times 5x, which gives us a uh, 5x cubed. Then it, it is being multiplied by 5, which gives us 25x cubed. And then we'll add it to that 25x cubed, which will give us a 50x cubed. Then the 2x times 5, it gives us a 10. And therefore, that integral will be the integral from 0 to 4 of 50x cubed plus 10x and dx. And uh, when we integrate that with respect to x and uh, put in the limits 0 to 4, we get that uh, it's equal to 3,280. So we have found uh, the integral along the curve C1. We can now move on to looking at uh, the integral along the curve C2. Along the curve C2, what we are seeing there is uh, y is equal to 20. It's uh, just a constant, it's uh, not a varying. Uh, therefore, the dy there will be zero. And uh, we see that x is uh, varying from uh, 4 to 7. So for the curve uh, C2 there, we are having the integral of x, y squared dx plus x squared y plus 2x dy. Along the curve C2, we are having y is equals to 20. So into that uh, integral, we substitute y equals to 20. And where we have dy, we put 0. 
and for the limits we are saying x is varying from 4 to 7 along that line and therefore we would have the integral from 4 to 7 over x times 20 squared dx plus uh, x squared times 20 plus 2x times 0. And the part where we have the times 0, it gives us a 0, so we'll just remain with a 20 squared times x, which gives us a 400x. So that integral becomes the integral from 4 to 7, or 400x and the x. And uh, when we integrate and uh, put uh, the limits there, you will know, get uh, the value is uh, 6,600. So we have the integral along on the curve C2 and the integral along the curve C1, which we had obtained earlier. But uh, we had said that the integral along the curve C is a sum of uh, those uh, two integrals, C1 and C2. So what we do is we put uh, the 3,280 there and the 6,600. So the integral along the curve C will be equal to 3,280 plus uh, 6,600. And uh, this will give us 9,880. So what you are having there is the integral of x, y squared dx plus x squared y plus 2x dy along the curve C is uh, 9,880.